hello, hello. So in this video, we will be talking about how to shield as the third step in grounding, centering, and shielding, okay? So there are many, many ways to shield, and you can go into great depth with it, but I just want to introduce the concepts and to bring it to your attention, and so you can sort of figure out, and if you were working with me, we could figure out specifically how you would like to shield. Shielding is what it sounds like. It's allowing in energies that are positive, but maintaining your own sense of self, okay? Again, as I mentioned last, in terms of cell phones, and there's so many different energies, whether from people, uh, electromagnetic, and simply the pace at which we live, especially if you live in a city or an urban area, all of that can be very distracting and almost ultimately sort of literally like taking our energy away from us, okay? Um, you know, if you're not so spiritual, you may be like, what? That sounds weird. What you may want to think about then is in medical terms, why are so many people so anxious, right? There is just so much stimuli going on, so much stimuli. And in all the natural health systems, they talk about those are actually food. So when we see things, that's food for the eyes. When we hear sounds, whether it's a jackhammer or sirens, that's food for the ears, but it may be basically toxic food. That's a way to think of it. Maybe I'll make a separate video about that. So that's why we want to shield. You want to have some sense of your own presence around you, right? Like your aura, strengthening your aura, your auric field. Now there are kundalini yoga um, kriyas for that. Um, but what we want to do is something really quick you can do in the morning. So there are various ways that, like my teacher has mentioned, that she might feel that she's shielding herself. You could literally feel um, one way. Now this might be harder to do if you're going through your day, but if you like water, you can almost picture like a, a fountain. There's a fountain of clear, beautiful, shimmering water that goes up behind you and then around you, okay? It could be a beautiful, uh, almost crystalline um, shape, like an egg shape, like an oval shape around you that is permeable to the positive. Things can, positive can come in, positive can go out, but negativity is blocked. So basically the idea is some sort of image that you envision and invoke around you as protection. And so it can come from whatever your religious or spiritual background. You can see, you could see a being protecting you and energy all around you, okay? What's most important is that you believe and you feel that connection and you put that in place in the morning, okay? So something to think about, like I said, I like the idea of a membrane around you, sort of at the edge of your aura, maybe four feet, five feet, you know, it depends. Each person's aura might emanate out more, right? And picture could be a beautiful gold quality to it. And just feel that you're within that and protect it, okay? So that's the final step in, um, <laughs> in, let's see, that was shielding. Then we had centering was the second step. Okay, so you center is the second step and the first step is grounding. And it's important to do all three. Um, for you, you may be able to actually though with one image get it all. So maybe for some people might picture a tree and then sort of relate themselves to this tree, feel strong, feel protected, feel that they're emanating out energy, and boom, that's all they need to feel grounded through the roots, centered through the spine of the tree, and protected maybe the limbs going out and feeling that the sky is almost like their, their, you know, their protection or something. So that can really vary. You have to come up with what works for you and that feels that invokes these qualities of being grounded, of being centered, and being shielded. So as I said, this was not originally in the context of doing shamanic work, shamanic journeying, which is like visioning almost. Um, but as I said, my teacher mentioned that um, another uh, wonderful shamanic teacher would do it not just when they were going to do spiritual work, but before they'd start their day, before they would really interact with others. So leave comments uh, below. Let me know what you think about these concepts of grounding, centering, and shielding. And if you have specific ways that you invoke all of that or a piece of that, okay? So, and I'll put the links to the first two videos below. Namaste, and if you would like guidance and coaching on spiritual practices, especially if you're recovering from burnout like I have, 
and you want to come back to yourself to feel strong again, to feel empowered, to make positive choices and to start enjoying your life again the way you did before reaching that sort of you know end stage of, of health breakdown and so on, then please look into coaching with me. I only work with folks who are serious and really want to learn practices that they'll have their entire life to heal into the fullness that they are, right? To the fullness that you are. So I would love to talk with you and if you'd like a one-time reading, that's a nice easy way to begin working with me. You can go on over to intheflowofmagic.com. Namaste. Be well. Bye-bye. Hey goddess, also I decided to make a guided meditation for you that will combine all three of these videos. Hopefully you've seen them. The grounding, the centering, and the shielding process. I'm going to put it all together in a guided meditation just for you. So to get that, you have to join my e-list so that I can email you the link to it. And it'll be something you can have and download, and I will make it short enough where it's something you could do daily and then you sort of understand the process to ground, center, and shield and protect yourself. Okay, so join my tribe. The link will be below how to do that and that will get you on my list and then once this audio is finalized of the guided meditation, you will receive it right in your email box, okay? Namaste.